Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Feels like we're on day 342 of Project Betty White. Today we're going to give a quick recap. So if you haven't watched the other videos, we got this thing pretty cheap. As you can see, it's a hot mess. There was all kinds of glitter and mouse droppings and things living in it. So we had to strip the interior. Then we had to clean the floors so that we knew what we were dealing with. There was quite a bit of rust, so we had to cut that out. Next, we had to weld patches back into the floor. Then we put some POR15 on the floor, make it look all pretty and shiny. After that's all dried, we reinstalled the interior. Then we dropped the front axle. It was a hot mess too, so we had to pressure wash it before we could even touch it. And last but not least, we had to put a new rear main seal and oil pan gasket on. It's time to reinstall the high pinion Dana 30 front axle. First, we had to check the gears, make sure everything was good, and surprisingly, it was. Then we finished cleaning the axle and painted the diff cover bright red so you can see it. We installed lots of new parts. The UPS man was here twice a day, every day. It's got a new track bar. We also got upper and lower control arms with new bushings. Now you may be asking yourself, so where did they get all these parts? We got them on Amazon. After doing a lot of research, it was the cheapest place with the best parts. And now for the moment I've all been waiting for. Let's reinstall that front axle. You'll see we started off with the Harbor Freight transmission jack and it worked out pretty okay. But then we upgraded to the Badland off-road jack. This thing is amazing. Make sure you check out our other video on the Badland off-road jack. When it comes to reinstalling the springs, some might say you need a spring compressor. I say nay nay. If you have the Badland off-road jack, you can do it without that. You'll also need a BFH, but it'll get done. Rounding out the front end overhaul, we have the Rough Country Adjustable Track Bar, good for 0 to 4 inches of lift. We also had to replace the rotors and brake pads. As you can see, the upper caliber bolts were stripped and could not be reused. So in order to finish the front end, we had to order new steering knuckles and wheel bearings. Now, we just have to wait for our good buddy, Francis, to come deliver them. Thanks for watching. Go anywhere, do anything.